Good morning. morning guys, welcome back to the channel. I haven't seen y'all in a while. It may not feel like a while in your time, but it's, it's been a while. Uh, I took a break because my mind wasn't right and when my mind isn't right, I can't function. I can just only take care of my kids. So I'm feeling better now. So I'm back on camera and we ready girl, we ready. So anyway, we have a lot to do today. Today's gonna be super chaotic because I spent the whole week editing and taking my kids to doctor's appointments. Like there is a lot of doctor's appointments, doctor, dental, specialist, it's a lot. Okay, it's, it's a lot. So between editing and doing that and like taking control of the house, which is still not in control, but we're gonna ignore that. I've just been busy and today is Friday right before the weekend and lately I've only been vlogging on the weekends and I miss vlogging during the weekday so we're just gonna vlog today and the weekend as well hopefully I can vlog during the weekend but either way there's a lot to do and there's gonna be a lot of buying today I think we haven't bought stuff in a while first off the rip Liam needs some new clothes he is five months today girl I did shed a tear he is a full five months I will show you him but of course he's staring at me because he always is he ain't presentable so that's not happening He's five months today and he needs some clothes. He now wears six to nine months and I buy clothes for my kids as they grow and they have hand-me-downs, of course. So I'm gonna go through the hand-me-downs now. Here's the bag. It's in Liam's room, which is now the guest room. This is like all the stuff I have from that he doesn't use anymore. But here's the hand-me-downs from Aiden. I'm gonna go through these real quick and pick out the items that I feel like he can still use and go from there. Y'all, while we on the topic, girl, don't look at my hair. And it's gonna be raining all day today. I'm not doing nothing to it. I got it cut, but that's about it. <laughs> anyway, y'all be asking me, not y'all, some, like, been commenting about hauls and stuff. Child, I don't be buying nothing. I'm not, I'm not gonna be over here and be fake with you. I don't buy nothing. I really try not to buy nothing now. Like, if I buy something, you'll know I bought something because I wear the same thing every vlog. Like, I legit wear the same thing. Like, <laughs> I just, I have capsule wardrobe and my kids have capsule wardrobe. Girl, I think it's when you wear the same 20 good quality things over and over. I don't even think it has to be good quality for capsule wardrobe. Or the same 40 or 50 things and you just rotate it with different outfits. And that's what I do. When I was pregnant, y'all saw those three dresses I brought from Amazon? That is exactly what I kept wearing over and over throughout my pregnancy. Those same three, go watch the videos. Same three pregnancy dresses. And when you come to this, what I wear? Some sweatshirts. This sweatshirt you done saw 50 times. What I buy is for my kids and only because they change size. And when I buy, we buy in bulk. So we budget for what we're gonna buy. We know it's coming in advance and we buy it in bulk all together. And I do hand me down. So whatever I save from Aiden and I pass it down as you can see. You'll see a haul when I buy stuff. Like today I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of stuff. So I'll have like some mini hauls or whatever. Then I have to buy spring and summer stuff for the kids, which is not gonna be a lot of stuff. I don't go ham in the spring and summer because there's a whole bunch of shorts and I ain't paying no top dollar for no shorts. Y'all got me no. It's gonna be Walmart, maybe Target, Walmart. Yeah, but the fall and winter, I do go ham. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I be finding myself at Zara. But other than that, no. All right, you guys, so this is what I have laid out so far. Here are two shorts. That's an outfit. This, I don't know what this is. I think this is like a mini outfit. I think this is an outfit. This is an outfit. These are some onesies, some long sleeve onesies and some short sleeve. These are some house clothes. These are some church clothes. These are two jackets. So this is what I'm working with so far. I kind of have a bird's eye view of what I need. I know I don't need no onesies. We know that. I think I have enough to last till nine months. And I probably need a couple of outfits maybe three or four I definitely need some shoes but I don't think I'm going to Burlington today and maybe two outfits for church and maybe like four cute outfits because these don't look that cute either way guys let's go because Liam is not feeling too well so you want to take a nap and he's sleepy are you sleepy what are you looking at are you sleepy you sleepy you special and you're reckless Babe, you're my bestest friend, yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless, nobody else can end it And when I get the money back, then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright, I like how you doing alright, alright Like how you think alright, always on top of you Everything is green over here oh, yeah. Everything you want 
you doing alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top, oh yeah, oh yeah Like how you do it alright Everything good, alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top, alright, oh yeah I wanna know you tonight I wanna be the one to surprise you Wake you up in the morning I wanna be the one that you call in Cause I see you In the future with me Hey y'all, so I'm back from Home Goods and TJ Maxx. Um, that noise you're hearing is raining. Don't worry about Liam. He's dry as a pie, girl. Dry as a pie. I'm using a rain cover for him. He's fine. Completely dry. Anyway, girl, let me tell you how my husband pissed me off in, in the thing. So y'all already know, like, the laundry situation, right? So I went in there for a laundry basket. I really wanted one because my clothes be on the floor. So when we do laundry, we don't have like an extra basket to put clean clothes. We would have to go into the laundry room, get the like the dirty clothes laundry baskets and use that for our clean clothes. And y'all know this, y'all know this. So I'll always be telling myself I need to get another basket like or two to keep clean clothes because sometimes I can't get to the clothes and it'd be going on days. And if it's not on my bed, it's on the floor, it's in the crib, it's somewhere. So I'm in there and he called me and I'm like, okay, what you think about this basket? Oh, we don't need no basket. What you mean we don't need no basket? Like, what? Oh, we don't need no basket. I'm like, the clothes be on the floor. It's been on the floor for a long time. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. They fine on the floor. We don't need no, no basket. But boy, what's that y'all buy? Get off the phone. They do. No, we're not gonna be digging off the floor. Piss me off. All that negative energy. Anyway, I didn't find a basket in there anyway. I don't know about y'all, but shopping in those type of stores, that like, it just gives me major anxiety. Like, I don't do Ross, I don't do DDs, I don't do nothing, because I'm like, the stuff just be, I don't like searching unless it's the thrift store. The thrift store, I don't know, it's just a thriller to chase for me. I don't feel that when I go in Ross, TJ Maxx and stuff, like, it be annoying, like, that one thing you want, but you can't find it. Like, in there, it was chaotic, and it made me feel chaotic. And I'm just like, is it this one, is it? Yeah, he sets my body in motion He just, he knows how to turn things up And he knows what gets me going Yeah, like a little text saying, hey, what's up? They look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us, thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us mm. Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine Don't care what they say, too late anyway Why do I need to be good all the time? Yeah, it gets when I'm in a bad mood. You guys, don't then look at my hair. Who sent me the Target? Which one of y'all sent me the Target? Child, I got here at 105. It is now 322. Child. And then halfway through the shopping trip, Liam want me to carry him. He's a whole 20 pounds. And the doctor had told me, the physical therapist said, don't carry nothing over 10 pounds. I don't know why doctors be giving advice like that. I mean... Hi, I'm her mom, miss. I guess. I mean, they're going to give you the advice they're going to give you. Like, she already got her degree. She got her body right. She's trying to help you. But either way, who sent me to Target? <coughs> Paul, you okay? I gave him a bottle. Of course, you got to be extra. You okay? <coughs> Liam. Y'all, y'all saw that, um, y'all saw that laundry basket I was looking at? I've seen that laundry basket before and I told Davidson I want it. Girl, that laundry basket is $48. I came back and I saw it again today and I feel like something is telling me, but I'm not about to listen to that something. I'm awake. But it's looking like I may just get that laundry basket because I really, really like it. I just don't be, like, picking stuff, like, quick. I always like to, like, if it's something I feel like it's, like, a little expensive than it needs to be, I like to shop around, sit on it, think on it, let it marinate. So then when I buy it, I feel, like, justified to buy it, at least most things. Unless I'm like, no, this is fa I have to have it. But I really want that laundry basket. So I may get it, but I don't know. I'm going to give myself another couple of weeks before I get it. And, of course, I'm going to check other stores. Keep checking other stores for a laundry basket. But... I need to hurry up. I got on here to say that I need to hurry up and go to Trader Joe's, get my groceries, and probably pick up the kids because I wanted to go to um, Hobby Lobby, but that may not happen. So if I don't find a Hobby Lobby in the area that I'm going to, I may just go pick up the kids and head on home. So yeah, let's you go. You guys, y'all have some of my nails? 
Yeah, child, I got them done like two weeks ago and they're already growing out, but this may be the one and only last time because how about I, I finished got them done after I told her I want gel nails and I think, um, child girl, okay. And she put the tip on it. You know when they, I don't know what it's called, acrylic or whatever, but I got gel, right? I said I need gel, whatever, because I like that the, the polish don't chip. So I'm like, okay, whatever, get to the front. She talking about $75. Girl, I turn around like she started me. Seventy-five dollars. No, I got the gel. Yes, ma'am. Seventy-five dollars. I remember nails being twenty-five to fifty dollars. Like seventy-five dollars. Where and where did I go? I went down the street by my house. I just don't remember nails being that expensive. So I don't know if I don't mess up and said something that I wasn't supposed to say. I don't know how much I get y'all nails done for because I may need to be driving where you go at. Like. Maybe I need to drive where you at. Let me know. How much you get your nails done? Because, sis, if it's $75, this may be the only last time. Who? Girl, I'm at Jimmy John's. I told this man I want a number nine cut in half with a barbecue chip. Girl, he said, what else? <laughs> Child, this is my place. Child, he said, what else? Ooh, let me add to that order. I'm not, girl. I've been off this diet. Don't ask me about the diet. You always asking me about stuff. Don't ask me about all that. Dang, I didn't pay for my food and we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. We gotta hurry up though, guys, because we gotta get the kids. You know, we a mom and stuff. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Not me thinking about my life and my choices before I put some gas in my car. You guys, judge me if you want to. I only put enough gas to get where I need to go. Enough for like one day, maybe two. I don't care. It's expensive. No. It need to go down. I used to fill my tank, no? Mm mm. I would hate to fill my tank and then it go down. Then I got the expensive gas and everybody else got the, the gas that's affordable. No. We're gonna take this day by day, every two days. Mm mm. Judge me if you want to. Judge me. Aiden does not eat McDonald's no more that much. Child. Remember when I told you he went up to Popeyes? Nah, girl, he done graduated to Zaxby's. He ain't playing with y'all. He is not playing with y'all. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. May I have, I heard you, Aiden. Can I have a kitty finger kids meal with fries? Um, the drink is apple juice. All right. Mommy, you wanna, you wanna kids nibbler or kitty cheese? Can I get a kitty cheese with apple juice? And I think that it is salvation is personal, <laughs> not weight loss, salvation. All right, guys, so let me show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's before I put them away. So I'm gonna go fastly. Okay, let me get the box. All right, guys, so chicken tikka masala from Trader Joe's, I got that. They're soon about to eat it. I got these organic jasmine rice i got two of them actually if you've never had microwave rice and you want to start try out trader joe's own because it's like really really good um riley riley shh. can you tell your kids to get off my leg please stop it you guys let go of my leg i was saying if you ever need like a meal for yourself and you don't have no rice and you just need to put something on the side this is perfect then this is another of my favorites from trader joe's compound chicken so it's a savory dish of tender dark meat chicken and mixed vegetables in a spicy soy ginger sauce. I got, oh, I don't think we added nuts there since then. Again, I haven't had this in a while, but I got two of them. Babe, can you go do that somewhere else, please? Please, I'm like screaming over you and the baby as well. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. And then I got two butter chicken. Liam, I got two butter chicken 
from Trader Joe's with basmati rice. I got Riley some turkey corn dogs. I got Aiden and Riley some chicken dromelas. I don't know if they're gonna eat this, but I'm gonna put it in the air fryer. That's yeah. enough. Let it go. Let's put my legs. Give me a second, guys. They're not looking at my lips, though. They're looking at the food. Oh, I thought you said my lips look ashy. I got this. I wanted to try this brownie plus cookie. It's called the Brookie. They were sitting putting his hands up because he think he says, <laughs> I'm not on a diet today. I am, though. Sorry. But anyway, I'm going to have that. Then, banana chocolate chip muffins. I wanted to try it, babe. And this I got for Aiden. Mm. Donut. Then this I got is a this. Diet haul? Is that what that is? <laughs> it's not a diet haul. But listen, I got this glazed sour cream donut. If you've never had their, if you like cake donuts, you and you've never had their glazed sour cream donuts, you are missing out. You know These taste so good. These are Aiden and I favorite. I had to get those guys. Then I got. I need y'all to sit down, please. I got some apples slices. I got some fruit for Riley. I got some homestyle pancakes for Aiden. So these cage-free, fresh, hard-cooked, peeled eggs. I got some soft white wheat bread for this. Oh, I said wheat. White bread for Aiden because I want to try this out for him. It's called the Speculous Cookie Butter Spread. I don't know what this is supposed to go on though, but it says deliciously unusual with crushed Belgian biscuits and the warm flavors of holiday spice bread. I think it's supposed to go on bread, but I don't know. I'm going to try that out for Aiden. I got some avocados. <coughs> Sir, can you lower your voice? <coughs> I got some fruit bars for the kids. You guys want fruit bars? These are raspberry, lemon, and strawberry. I got a lot of sugar just now. I usually get my Brussels sprouts, I know from Costco, but they didn't have it. So I got these roasted seasoned Brussels sprouts with Parmesan cheese. Then I got some green vegetable foursome. It's a seasoned medley of organic broccoli floret, peas, French green beans, and zucchini quarters. And I got some mashed cauliflower. I don't know if this is any good or not. I can't remember if it was. I think I had it one time before. But I got this. These are just when I'm like back on my diet. And the rest of the stuff is when I'm off the diet. Like that over there. Yeah. Oh, last thing. I got these roses. I don't know if these are called country rose. But it says country rose collection. And these smell so good. I got them from Trader Joe's because. Let me check if they're in here. Let me not do that. <laughs> Let me not do that. No, he's not here. <laughs> Let me not do that because I'm not going to be out in here on these YouTube screens lying and stuff. But he do be buying me flowers. I'm not going to lie. But the last time I got flowers was on Valentine's Day. And it is now March, sis. Don't worry about the date. It's still March. And I haven't got me no flowers. So if they don't buy it for you, buy it for yourself. So let me go ahead and put these away. And then I'm going to show you guys what I got at Target. Because I did not get anything at Home Goods. I didn't get anything at Home Goods or TJ Maxx. And I didn't get everything I wanted from Target either. Because I really, really kind of stepped out for a laundry basket and Liam's clothes. But hey, I need y'all to get out. Put that back. I don't know what that is. Put it all back. Go sit down. I went to get Liam's clothes in the laundry basket. And I didn't like any of the laundry baskets at Home Goods. And there's one thing about me. I don't care how cheap it is and how affordable it is. If I don't like it, I am buying it. Period. So I didn't like none of the stuff. I only like the Target one. So I'm going to keep shopping around until I find the one that I do like. Girl, let me go. Because these kids. Let me go. Got me up all night Putting things on the side What do you have in mind? She's awake all the time What are you trying to find? I hope this ain't a lie Cause I'm vibing with all we have Yeah, I'm feeling what we are now I'm laying down on the ground All I do is thinking out loud yeah, I'm vibing with all we have I'm feeling what we are now All I do is thinking out loud Cause I'm running with these emotions Stumbling out of bed One hell of a roller coaster You're messing with my head I'm ending up so clueless What are you trying to find? I'm running with these emotions Tell me what do you have in mind?
guys so it is 9 26 sorry for the noise like literally the whole family's downstairs and i'm in a, like a corner hopefully you can hear me over riley's laughing but it is 9 30 a lot has gone on if you're not a mom let me bring this closer if you're not a mom you probably don't know what that means so i'll fill you in we're potty training saying that alone should be enough but yeah we're potty training then i was solo for a little bit because they just had to work on his car and i had to like clean up the kitchen wash the dish clean up i had to clean up the kitchen wash the dishes take liam a shower take aid in the shower but then davidson was back and he took riley a shower but liam was refusing to go down so he's still up at 9 30 because i don't know what he's going through lawyer voices guys so i'm gonna quickly go through this haul that I got from Target. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the noise. If not, I'm just gonna do a voiceover, all right? But hopefully I can hear me over the noise. So I'm gonna do a Target haul. Um, I think I spent a pretty penny today. Like in Trader Joe's, I think I spent like 175. And it wasn't even that much stuff. You guys saw the haul. Trader Joe's is usually like, I don't know, back then I used to think it was like cheap, but it's usually, for what I get, that's, that for me, that's half of a Costco trip. Because monthly we spend like between 300 to 500. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Do you guys think Trader Joe's? I think it's cheaper. Obviously, it's more affordable than Whole Foods. But I don't know. I don't know where I'm sitting with that. So that probably changes in the future. But I'm more conscious of how much I spend on groceries since we bulk shop now. So yeah, regardless. Anyway, I went to Target, which I spent like 2.30 at Target. That was a lot because all of it was not fully in place, girl. So off the bat, I got these washcloths, these Room Essentials washcloths. This is an eight pack. This is a washcloth pack because we just needed some more. We needed some more washcloths because they get dirty real fast. And I share these washcloths with a male. That should tell you everything. Then I got eight and some. Oh, these are straight. I gotta return these. These are some straight pants from Target, which I'm gonna return. I got that for Aiden, but I did not know it was straight. So I return it. I got some five piece, so hopefully they fit. I got this for Riley. It's like a swim cover up top. It's this, it's Cat and Jack. It's like a swim top with like a hoodie for Riley. It is a 3T, so it looks like this. These always, always, always like run out of stock. So I grabbed this fast. Although like I'm not in the market for swimwear yet. I needed to get that. Then I got him some pants. When I showed you the clothes earlier, I noticed that he had a lot of summer shirts. So I just got him some shorts, six to nine piece shorts. These were $6.99. I got him a set from Just One You by Carter's. So it's kind of like a polo shirt with a bottom. And this one was 10 bucks. I got eight in these skinny 5T pants. These seem long, I feel like, for him. I'm about to make him try it on now so that I know if I have to return it to Target. Eight in! Do my favor, try these on. Then I got Liam this dinosaur outfit with Mommy, a hoodie. Did you buy this bag for me? Yeah. With his shorts. Mommy, I'm so proud of you. Eight dollars. Thank you for being proud of me, but let me show everybody. Then you can go show your dad. Can you put those? Can you try those pants on, please? I didn't need a new backpack, so I got him this from Target. I wasn't even sure I was gonna find backpacks, but I did. So this is a dinosaur backpack. It was nineteen ninety nine by the brand Cricket. Aiden, turn that off and try on the pants. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is for Riley. Here, go. What's your daddy? So Aiden needed a new backpack, and guess what, guys? This backpack matches his lunchbox. Yeah. So lunchbox then backpack. Really cringy, but it works. So we're gonna do that. Hurry up so you can go show daddy your backpack. Okay. The other one was like tearing apart. It was from Walmart for five dollars, and we unfortunately could not wait. Mama, you are in. You are in the camera. We could not wait till August. Oh, mama. Mm -mm. Then I got Liam this. It's like a button down on the bottom. And this is Just One You. It is 10 bucks. Then I got another Just One You by Carter's. I got um Liam some rice cereal because the pediatrician said that he's five months now, but at four months I could have start feeding him this and for him to swallow. Child, look at this girl. You trying to try it on? Try it on, girl. I can start feeding him so he can practice swallowing. So I'm going to do that. Riley, go to your brother. All right, guys, so I'm moving on. I'm back. 
So I got the Halo sleep sack. I got a spare one. This one is the six to 12 months. It's a medium, it's a micro fleece. Yeah, I have every distraction in the world. Mama, where are you going? At school. You going to school? Yes. All right, go show daddy. They also don't like that backpack. He says it's ugly. $19 a good me. It kind of is doing a lot, but it's a girl. School year almost over. He'll be all right. I'll give him a national one. Okay, so my favorite purchases here were these Cloud Island six to nine months because I love buying Cloud Island from Target because when you buy Cloud Island, they have these three pack onesies or sleepers. Sleepers. They have these three pack sleepers that are like $12.99, girl. So how much is that for a 12? That's like $4.50 for each sleeper that's pretty pretty good and they be like they're actually very good quality i think and they last a while look at this this is so cute and they all they have the hand cover up so i don't use no more with him but what i wanted to say is my target app was telling me that they were 20 percent off today on top of it already being 12.99 child plus so this is nice i got yeah so i got this so i got this style with the um the trees then i got this style with i don't know what these are then i got this style with the stars so i got this for sleep i got this one that says hello child and other stuff and i got stars in green and then some animals and i got another color scheme so i got a yellow sleeper oh uh, i don't know what this is and a raindrop one these are cute though Three for twelve ninety nine, and I got twenty percent off. Who it is? Then I got an infant towel. I wonder how big this is. If I open it, can I return it? Let me see because Liam needed a bigger towel. Yeah, it's a little. Oh, I think this is gonna work. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. It says infant. This is cute. Shark infant hooded towel. Look at this little shark. And it's big, y'all. This is gonna work. Then I got this for Aiden, skinny adjustable. Oh, let me show you. I'm looking at it, I'm not even showing it. Oh, and then I got this for Liam. This is cute. It says, what does it say? Mom always makes money. This one was $8. Oh, and I got these pillow fork um, utensils because Riley's been throwing the utensils away after she eats them. We just found that out today, so we ain't got none. Huh? My mama's done, y'all. Then I got this um kids' crest that both of them use. Did you show daddy this stuff? Then I got this spoon, yeah. Go show daddy. Then I got this soap refill because my Bath and Body Works soap that I had from Christmas, my birthday are done so i'm refilling it because i don't think bath and body works have any sales right now and child plus if i'm about to pay full price but right now girl oh let me show you my wine i put it in the refrigerator it came in this right here so Davidson went to miami and i had told him to get me some legume and some I rice open it. but why you need to open it no we're not gonna open it okay we're gonna open it tomorrow okay thank you high five so i told him to give me some legume and rice he did not do so i was like you know what since he on the road anyway i told him hey you see pollo because where i live in metro atlanta there's no pollo when i first moved here we had pollo but then they closed it down that was in cobb county and there ain't no pollo like pollo i don't think there was that pollo in georgia period or we ain't got no pollo there ain't no pollo in georgia period so i'm from miami and i'm used to pollo so I told him to grab me some pollo and that's in the fridge. So I'm about a month. Some pollo and my wine. Let me go show you my wine and then I'll be done. Wait. So here's my wine. You can guess why I bought it. Cause I'm black. <laughs> Girl, I don't know how this tastes. So hopefully it tastes good. I like very, very sweet wine like Moscato or um People say that's juice, but I don't care. Anyway, girl, we're gonna wrap this up. Thank you for spending a day with me. And I'll see you guys next time. I am tired. But I'm going to eat. Bye.